How to calculate turnover frequency in catalysis. If you're working with catalysts and want to understand how efficient they are, you're probably wondering how to calculate the turnover frequency. This metric is crucial in catalysis, so let's break it down step by step. First, let's define what turnover frequency, or TOEF, is. It's a measure of how many cycles a catalyst can perform per unit of time. Essentially, it tells you how efficient a catalyst is in converting reactants into products over a given time period. To calculate the turnover frequency, you need to start with the turnover number, often abbreviated as TON. The TON is the number of moles of substrate that a mole of catalyst can convert before it becomes inactivated. The formula for TON is TFRAC, text, number of moles of product, text, number of moles of catalyst. For example, if you have 1 mole of reactant and 0.01 .01 mole of catalyst, and the reaction yields 90% of the product, you can calculate the ton. First, convert the yield to a decimal. 90% is 0.9. Then, use the formula text frac equals 1 text mole times 0 0.9, 0 0.01 moles 90. Now, to find the turnover frequency, you need to know the time it took for this reaction to occur. The TOF is calculated by dividing the TO to N by the time taken for the reaction. The formula is T text TUT. If the reaction took five hours, you would convert this time into the same units as your TOF, usually seconds or minutes. For simplicity, let's use hours here. Go fa frac 90, five hours equals 18 per hour. This means the catalyst can perform 18 cycles per hour. In more precise terms, especially in enzymology, the TOF can be calculated using the catalytic constant kect cat and the enzyme concentration. Here, the formula is k text cat equal frac mat e zero, where v max is the maximum reaction rate and e zero is the initial enzyme concentration. However, this is more specific to enzymatic reactions and not directly applicable to all types of catalysis. In summary, to calculate the turnover frequency, you first determine the turnover number by dividing the number of moles of product by the number of moles of catalyst, considering the yield. Then you divide this turnover number by the time taken for the reaction to get the turnover frequency. This gives you a clear measure of how efficiently your catalyst is working over time.